Hello again, uh, Advanced MD, little instructional video, how to write uh, and e-send a electronic prescription. So go to your patient, your test patient, your real patient, whichever, I'll, I'll assume you know that already. We will, uh, we're using test billing. Again, I'm going to make sure you're aware of three things. Make sure your pharmacy information is, is already entered. If you don't, you cannot e-send prescriptions. If you add the pharmacy information after you have written a prescription, you cannot send that prescription because it just will not work. So you'll have to rewrite a new prescription after you've entered the pharmacy information. Sorry, that's just the way it works. Pain in the butt, so make sure the staff is updating that. Get consent uh, to get uh, information about your patient's uh, medications. If you click on it, you'll see you'll get a little uh, box here that says, uh, it asks, can we import in the medical information? And basically, that will make your life a lot easier to update the medication list on the patient. And then thirdly, I would make sure that the under the insurance information, that you also check for updates at every visit uh, so that you can get the formulary information added to uh, the prescribing software. That way it will give you little green icons to tell you that the medication is preferred and it will give you uh, red ones or no information if it's not preferred. Okay, so to make a prescription, many ways to do it, I would say just go to a new Rx tab. You could search for medications here if you don't have it saved in your list. Uh, or if you have it saved in your list, you can go over to your favorites and click on something. And if it's all how you like it, then you can basically sign it. And if it has the pharmacy information, you can sign. And I have to put in my password, excuse me. Put in my password. And now that it's signed, you'll see now this icon eSend is available. I'm not gonna eSend it because that'll confuse the pharmacy, so or you could print it too. But you have to sign it first and then you can you can eSend it. Now I will also um, kind of warn you. If when you're writing a prescription, uh, you will find there are some uh, medications that will not you will not be able to e-send. Obviously, things that are controlled substances that uh, just were by law you're not allowed to e-send. But I've run across other uh, medications, and I'll show you one in my list. Actually, I think I have it here. Is it here? guess I didn't add it anyways yeah I didn't add it well that was good uh, but we've run into problems like uh, oh here let me pull this one up so for example this medication albuterol um, this albuterol here uh, I've changed it you'll notice uh, uh, let's see here to pro air this albuterol is a is pro air actually excuse me uh, this is the one I wanted. Oh, that's right, because I've already saved it. So it's already signed. Let me bring up a new one. Excuse me. Hard to do this while I'm recording. So apologize for the jankiness here. So what we found is, for example, if you bring, bring up a prescription like Pro Air, <coughs> Uh, I've got all the information saved, and again, when you're writing a new prescription, you've got to include all this information here, the you know what type of medicine is, PRN, over-the-counter, or routine. You've got to include uh, the instructions here, the box. You only could pick from these, these options. No, there are no other options. Uh, quantity, uh, days, refills, uh, the, the, t the units, the type of uh, thing you're giving, and then the directions on how you're going to, the pharmacy is supposed to, to instruct the patient to take it. And then all that information is supposed to show up up here in the SIG box, and you can add information here. Now, 
if you go ahead and sign it and e-send it, some prescriptions, like for example, I had had just albuterol HFA inhaler. There is an option for that in the software. However, what I found is uh, the pharmacies uh, are not able to receive that electronically because it, I get an error message uh, that in my message box saying the medication did not go through electronically successfully because uh, the prescription lacked an NDC number. So I have no idea what an NDC number, but supposedly every medicine has an NDC number and you have to have an NDC number for you to send the medication electronically. And for whatever reason, certain of the medications here that when you search for them will not have it you'll have to find it out what I've noticed is if you're too non-specific as to a brand uh, it oftentimes doesn't have an NDC number and you'll get failure so that's why I switched it over here to Pro Air uh, so that it seems like it's working now I haven't had any trouble sending it electronically so again that's how you send uh, the prescriptions electronically uh, stay tuned for the third and final video.